I was reading the other day on online somewhere down in the Caribbean they say this is the worst year they've ever had I mean the beach is just seaweed it's just awful I've decided to try this composition Got a little bit of a leading line a little bit of balance here I don't know I don't think we're going to get much of a sunrise but we're going to try I just know I can't get on that beach it's just far 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 too much seaweed the smell is awful and if I went down the pier here which I did I got closer to the fishermen of course then they're fishing so they're moving and with a long exposure uh, probably wouldn't work right but back here you won't see them as much in the frame should be okay so I'm gonna set up it's a little bit of pink just out there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little bit of pink coming through. Looking at photo pills, that's about where the sun's going to come up. So we'll see what we can get. We still have about another 15 minutes before actual sunrise. Oh, the sky is a little pink. You can see the sun is starting to try and peek up from over there. The problem with this composition is this is the inlet where the boats, all the fishing boats come in and out and it's not very active so far this morning but usually you'll have constant boats coming through here and with a long exposure it's not the best which is why I don't usually use this location like here comes one here and I'm not a boater but from what I'm told they have to go through here a pretty good clip in order to get through this inlet the sun's starting to peek through. Let's see what we can get. Currently, I'm at uh, F71 at around four seconds because I have a polarizer and a six stop on. I'm trying to smooth that water out a little bit. As the sun comes up a little bit, I'll probably switch to a three stop. I haven't quite figured out this lens if F8 is best or 6.3 or 7.1. For these types of images I'm still playing with it usually I end up blending two or three images anyway I'm focused out at that that little uh, station over there that's my focus point and sometimes I can get away with just one image sometimes two usually when I'm down on the beach I'll take one of the rocks and then I'll take one out more towards the horizon, blend the two together. But this here, I might be able to just get away with one image. We'll see what happens. But the sun's starting to come up. You can see it coming through there. I've been here enough over the years at sunrise to know that that band of clouds along the horizon probably isn't going to go away. And the sun is going to have to be up over that cloud a little bit before we get any kind of real shot. I mean, you can see it starting to pop behind that cloud. It's not officially sunrise yet, so the sun's not up. But it might not be until maybe five or ten minutes after sunrise before it really breaks through that cloud maybe we'll get a little bit of a, a sunrise we'll see what happens okay let me work you through my thinking here <clears throat> I suspect it you didn't really see the Sun until it was up over the horizon and now of course all the clouds are going away so what I tried to do was I'm gonna have to blend this one if I can get an image out of it and I focused on these railings I took a series of shots of that to try to get the Sun coming off those railings give a little bit of a gold effect and then I used a little bit of faster shutter speeds for that water get a little texture in there but then flatten it out kind of find the balance in between there and then out at that house at the station out there I took a series of exposures somewhat darker 
to get a little bit of that sky and the sun coming through the clouds. And so it'll probably be three or four images to blend together to try and get something. But now it's pretty much over. The sky didn't light up the way you always wanted to. But when I got here, I wasn't expecting a whole lot just because of the knowing this place in the summer and with those clouds on the horizons. It's kind of hard for the sun to come through. In the winter, you get a little bit better sunrises. You get more color in the sky, but I was awake, so I thought I'd come out and see what we could do. Now that the sun's up, you can see those are really all the, the rocks that sit along the beach here that I usually take the picture of, but they're just covered in seaweed. So you can see, it just wouldn't have made for a nice image. It's just everywhere. And one thing I worry about is depending on how high up on the beach it comes, it could be covering up a lot of these turtle nests. You know, usually the turtles go up a little bit higher on the beach, but there's a nest here. It's kind of out of the way. And I can see a few more down the beach that are still marked. But the seaweed was bad last year, but this is just... I mean, the whole beach is just seaweed. This is usually the composition I try to get in here for sunrise, but you can see why it just wouldn't have worked. It's just covered. Like right here. That's usually about the composition I would try to get. Right about there. So I don't know. It may be another couple of months, three months, before this stuff goes away and they can rake it up and get it all out of here. Kind of open. Come October, November, December, when I normally get some good sunrise shots, hopefully they'll have all this seaweed will either be burn up or they finally cleared it all away. Otherwise, it's going to be bad year for the beach. One of the reasons why I created this YouTube channel was to show you how I process some of my files. I try to focus more on going out and then showing you the end product. It worked flawlessly for the first few videos. Now, for whatever reason, it's, it kept crashing. So that's why when I show you this next section, you're going to see where I was a little frustrated. So I apologize, but here it is. I hope you enjoy it. All right, I'm having a terrible time recording this. I'm having a lot of problems with this NVIDIA driver. I don't know if anybody's had trouble with it, but if you have, let me know how to fix this. But I want to go through this real quick, if we can. I picked the three images that I wanted to use. And the first thing we have to do is auto-align it. I usually just hit auto. And then... We have to set up a mask on each layer. Then I usually invert it so that I can see the bottom, the actual base layer. Now this one here is the sky. <clears throat> so you pick your brush and you just paint it in. Same for your water. You just paint it in. Now this side over here, I don't necessarily want all the opacity. So we're just going to paint it in a little bit. And that's really all you do now I would save it and do some other things but like I said this keeps crashing so we're gonna do this fast 
Sorry, I, I apologize. But I've been working on this for the better part of two days and it keeps crashing. <clears throat> and we want to go back into our filter, our Adobe Camera Raw. And in case I crash again, really all I'm going to be doing is adding masks. I'm going to put a gradient mask here. I'm going to decrease the exposure and increase the contrast a little bit. And we're going to create another mask with a brush this time. And we're going to try to make that cloud pop a little bit more. Add a little gold. Create another mask. Increase the exposure here. Have that water shine a little bit. Give it a little gold. Just a little bit. Okay. And I really want to Increase the contrast there a lot. Bring out those shadows. Or I'm sorry, the exposure. Okay. Then I used a 20 millimeter lens. I filmed, I recorded it with a, photographed it with a Nikon Z7 II and the 20 millimeter lens. When I do that, I usually like to go then go down to 16 by 9 crops. I know it's all personal preference. It's just the way I do it. And then it's just a matter of just some more touch-up work. I'm going to dodge just a little bit more in here. So I want to thank you all for your patience. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. It always helps me out. I'm trying to grow the channel a little bit. And then don't forget to go into the sky and wherever and fix your sensor spots. But now it's just a matter of tweaking it a little bit. So it's not the world's greatest, but I did want to show you from start to finish how I would work on an image like this. So I appreciate you watching. Until next time, take good care.